In today's video, I am going to show you how to configure items in config.json on an unturned server. I will show you how to spawn more items, changing item quality, durability, and much, much more. In order to go to the config.json file, you must go to files, and then you have to go to servers, unturned, and over here you can see config.json file. You can always close these type of items that you do not need, and make sure to edit the section with the difficulty set on your server. In this case, I will be using easy because I have set my server to easy in the commands dot dot earlier but if you haven't set any difficulty then the default will be normal so you must edit the item settings in the section of difficulty on your server and today we're going to go to the items part so over here as you may see there are a lot of different items but we're going to go through each and every one of those so firstly let's go over to the spawn chance by default it is 0.35 and this must always be between 0 and 1 since it is a percent chance if it is set to 1 it means that each spawn node will have an item spawned over there on the other hand if this is set to 0 that means that nothing will spawn on each spawn node it is important to know that each map has a different amount of spawn nodes such as pi having 2462 washington has 2795 yukon has 1207 russia has 6409 and germany has 4374. Next, let's go on over to the despawned dropped time. The despawned dropped time means that this is the duration of how many seconds it takes for an item dropped on the ground by a player to despawn. If this is set to 600, which is the default, it means that it will disappear after 10 minutes. If, the, if you set this to 1.0, it means that as one second after a player drops an item from his inventory, that item will despawn. Next, let's go over to the despawn natural time. On the other hand, it is very similar to the drop time, except that this one doesn't have to be dropped by a player. When an item spawns randomly on the map and nobody picks it up for this duration, that means another item will respawn. The difference is that this item will spawn naturally. If you do set this, for example, to 2 seconds after an item was spawned in the map and 2 seconds have passed and nobody have picked it up, then another item will respawn on the map. Next, let's go over to the respawn time. Respawn time is the duration in seconds for an item spawn node to be able to spawn a new item after the previous item was picked up or despawned. Next, let's go over to quality full chance. Quality full chance can be between 0 and 1. An example for this, if you set this to 0.6, then there is a 60% chance for every item on the map to spawn at full quality. Otherwise, it will spawn at random quality. Next, let's go over to the quality multiplier. The quality multiplier is the multiplier on the quality of items that spawn. When this is greater than 1, items will spawn at a higher quality. Basically, it is a multiplier for the quality of items that spawn with below 100% quality. If a pickaxe was to spawn with 30% chance, but quality multiplier was set to 2, then it will spawn at 60% quality. Next, let's go over to gun bullets full chance. This is the chance for gun bullets to spawn at full magazine. And this must always be between 0 to 1. Next, let's go over to gun bullets multiplier. This is the multiplier on the amount of ammo in ranged weapons that spawn. When this is greater than 1, they will be spawned with more ammo. For example, if a maple strike was randomized to spawn with 6 bullets, it will spawn with 12 bullets if the setting is set to 2. Next, let's go over to Magazine Bullets Full Chance. Magazine Bullets Full Chance is the ability for magazines to spawn at full capacity. And this value must always be between 0 and 1. Next, let's go over to Magazine Bullets Multiplier. This is the multiplier on the amount of ammo in magazines that spawn. When this is greater than 1, they will spawn with much more ammo. Next, let's go over to Crate Bullets Full Chance. Very similar to the other ones, this one has to do with the crates. And this one will allow ammunition crates to spawn at full capacity. Next, let's go over to Crate Bullets Multiplier. This one is also very similar to the Magazine Bullets Multiplier, except that this one is inside a crate. When this is greater than 1, they will spawn with more ammo. Next, let's go over to Has Durability. Now, this is very, very important. This is the original option for disabling items quality. If this is set to false, which is by default, items spawn at 100% quality and their quality doesn't decrease but if this is set to false then all below settings are also ignored after here we have food spawns at full quality water spawns at full quality clothing spawns at full quality weapons spawn at full quality default spawns at full quality clothing and weapons have durability what this means is that all of these options the ones that end with full quality they will spawn at 100% if has durability is set to false then none of these will matter. 
they will all spawn at full quality. But if has durability is set to true, then you can play around with these where you can choose which items can spawn with full quality or not. Something else that you must remember is that when you do disable durability, so if this durability is set to false, some attachments that include suppressors and muzzles will still have durability and there is absolutely no way to disable it, it is just a feature of the game. And that is it for this video, I really hope that you guys did learn something new, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!